Good evening, VV Nation. My name is Ryan. Welcome to the channel. Happy Thursday, everybody. If you're brand new to the channel, definitely want to say special welcome to you as well. Now, that being said, tonight's presentation, big event today, right? Quantum Day at NVIDIA's 2025 GTC event. This is the same CEO that called out these companies for being way overvalued in their technology being not really applicable until many years down the road. Now, that being said, the presentation did start at 1 p.m. today. I've been watching a little bit of it. It's pretty interesting. A lot of it's very technical, so I'm not going to bore you, uh, you know, with a lot of what they're talking about. But what I am going to talk about in tonight's presentation, I'm actually going to show you how these stocks, these quantum stocks are responding when it comes to NVIDIA's event. Are investors getting enthused or are the stocks selling off? We're going to take a look at the quantum watch list itself to get a sense of momentum in this batch of stocks and to see if we're getting any discounts during the most recent sell-off. So let's go ahead and jump into the Vector S7 software. If this is something that you're interested in, let's get started. So before the conference began, I went through the itinerary of today's conference. All of the stocks you have, see here before you, these are the companies that which have representatives speaking on behalf of them today, you know, answering and asking questions with NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong. Now, that being said, I've noticed that D-Wave is selling off quite a bit, Qubit down 11% today. You notice not one buy rated stock here in the list. Now, if we take a look at valuation, me and Glenn have already said, Majority of these stocks way overvalued here. For example, Qubits, you know, currently trading just over $9. We value the stock at 56 cents. Now, I do understand these companies do have, you know, world changing technology has the potential to be a game changer. But a lot of that price I'm seeing is already baked in. And if we take a look at the watch list average down below, look at price action, 94.8 value, $80, right? And the only reason we're even close to that valuation is because I've put, you know, NVIDIA, Amazon, Microsoft are in the list here. I know Microsoft is overvalued, but if you look at Amazon, these three mega cap companies do help the overvaluation of this list here. But if we look at, you know, some of these other speculative names here, IONQ currently trading at $21, we valued at $3 itself. So if I resort the column here by value divided by price, this is where you're getting the best value here at the top of the list. NVIDIA is the only stock in the list here, undervalued Amazon 0.93, Microsoft. And below that is going to be Atom, followed by shortly after, you know, IONQ and quantum computing today. But you see all of these companies, again, way overstretched on their valuation. And even if I look at the, you know, the other indicators here, when it comes to the watch list average, look at RV and RS. These are fundamental indicators. Not much favor in the fundamental analysis, you know, as far as long-term price appreciation or the safety of these entities. And even for my technical traders, look at the RT relative timing. This looks at the short-term price trend of the stocks in general at 0.65 VST below one. The only thing I see optimism here, look, sales growth rate, earnings growth rate, forecasted data, double digits along the way. So let's take a look at this watch list average graph before we get into the individual stocks. Now, looking at these stocks collectively, we see the green line here. That is the overall valuation of these quantum stocks here. That being said, even though the space is overvalued, one thing that I do like about it, value on the rise along with price action, right? We are seeing price action and valuation roll over. So I'm not liking the optimism as of right now, but hey, I see the RSI here coming off these bottom fishing levels, price action to the upside. If you're looking for confirmation after today's event, if I zoom into a one month time span, you know, getting price action above that 20 day EMA or even more confirmation, you know, above this upper Bollinger Band, putting you in the fast lane, that would be a great technical trade setup to play momentum off of the space. I get the point just because, you know, if you look at price action of this watch list, it was well over $100, you know, clearly stretched from our valuation standpoint. But now we're much closer to our valuation. And with all the hype in these stocks here, and obviously, you know, the potential to change the world with their technology. But at the end of the day, it really comes down to when is their technology going to be applicable in society and make money? That's the big key. So let's go ahead and jump into the individual stocks and see how they've been responding and acting accordingly to the conference going on that started at 1 p.m. All right, so I've got the stocks here, intraday chart, one minute candlesticks. You see my vertical line here right at 1 p.m. That was the beginning of the conference. 
You can see the price action of NVIDIA is up since the conference here. Not a lot of volatility. And I know this isn't exactly the stock we want to look at here. So let's scroll down the list and see what some of these other quantum stocks are doing. Amazon, not really going to be affected by Quantum Day. They are having an individual from their AWS team uh, speak about quantum. So we'll see, you know, exactly what is spoken there. But obviously Amazon, you know, they've got their hands on a lot of other things. It's not solely a quantum stock, but is up since the conference. We also have Microsoft here, relatively flat since the beginning of the conference as well. We all know about, you know, their updates with their own quantum computing that they have developed and came out news with a few months ago. Now, Adam is up since the beginning of the conference here. We see price action open around 561, currently at 565. Not a lot of volume there, you can see clearly. But this is going to be the bigger picture here. IONQ, right? This is a big name, a lot of retail presence here down since the beginning of the conference here was at 22.45 right now we're not getting much optimism down at 22.14 and we take a look here qubit also down since the beginning of the conference so again the conference was about you know explaining to investors really the applications of quantum computing and more importantly how far away is this technology right so is jensen going to prove all these people wrong or are these individuals that are coming from these companies give viable explanations of exactly what their technology is doing and how close it is to making money? As I continue to scroll down the list here, I mean, again, not much optimism when it comes to quantum. Rigetti also down quite a bit. I know that's a crowd favorite coming around 909 currently. We have qubits here also down from the open 928. So again, we're seeing the GTC event here not playing out so well when it comes to these quantum stocks. I know Glenn and I spoke about this last week. You know, the real move was, you know, playing these up to the conference here, but we see a lot of profit taking. I mean, many of these stocks are up quite a bit right now. I'm going to treat quantum kind of like crypto, right? The best time to be buying it is when no one is talking about it, right? Or no one's saying anything good about it. And when that's the case, Essentially, these companies are be closer to those valuations. So let's take a look at the broader quantum watch list and see what kind of momentum we're getting. Now, as we take a look at the broader quantum watch list that we have here in the Vector SF software, there's 29 stocks. Not all of them are quantum computing. You know, a lot of them might be using drug applications, you know, defense purposes, LAAS, use, you know, quantum resistant semiconductors. They have a partnership with SpaceX. But the thing I see here, look at this. A, there's not a single buy rating in the bunch here. But on top of that, look at all the red here. Some of the big names, Qubit's down 11% right now at this conference. QMCO down 15%. So that's what I'm going to say. You know, even for the traders here, where I'm not seeing that momentum to the upside and I'm not getting the confidence from the market that we needed for these quantum stocks. So I hope this video, you know, really put quantum, you know, I may have burst a lot of bubbles out there. But quantum is not the place to be into right now. At least my opinion, you know, it's very risky and I don't see, you know, the profits or the reward being worth it taking this much risk. Now, everybody have a wonderful evening. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you next week. Take care.